hope that I have uh, enough good health to continue with this work. And uh, I really love you all to join. And uh, I think that today we have at least two or three other groups from Latin America that they have uh, promised that they're going to join the others. Now, what I've been doing is this, that uh, trying to create these uh, centers, that we call them ACOF Centers for Design, all over the world. Now, the three of them has already started. There's one in Bulgaria, there's one in Russia, and the third one is in South Africa. Right now, I'm working on the fourth one, which is in Australia, hopefully the Queensland University. But the idea is so that, I mean, the vision, one day you wake up and you have all these different centers that they're all called ACOP Centers for Design Thinking. And there's this incredible infrastructure which is going to support all these centers all over the world. And I'm very happy to tell you that a few of the students from the Organizational Dynamics Program, they have undertaken this task to try to create an infrastructure which is pretty much going to be useful not only to these centers, but to everybody else who's interested in systems thinking or design thinking. And uh, one of the things that some of you who have worked with Russ in different projects remember, that he was so big, especially like when we were discussing the uh, utilization of his uh, learning and adaptation model. There is a function which is called decision support function. And he was so big and adamant that within that function we should put people's, he used to call it people's bank. And this is precisely, I hope, that what the ABIC, which we call ACOF Virtual Inquiry Center, is going to have is to have the names and whereabouts of all the systems thinkers worldwide. So in fact, in our group, one of the things we were discussing, if somebody like South Africa is going to start a new project, which, by the way, uh, Price Waterhouse Cooper is one of the sponsors of the ACOP. Center for Design Thinking in South Africa, because they have come to the conclusion that ACOG methodology is the one that has to be used at least in the front end. So one of the things that they're going to be starting is a major project, which is called the development of the North Cape. Now, there are other people who have done some of these things in other places of the world, it so happens that they are systems thinkers and they are, you know, ACOF followers. Why can't those people know who these are and contact them? Basically, you know, it's an aspect of knowledge management process that is going to support those activities. So with this, I I want to ask you that if you really have energy, especially those of you who, have, who are coming from other countries, if you want to start the center, just please be in touch with us. And lastly, the AVIC group obviously is going to require some help, financial help. Now, I'm happy to say that the first check came from the August Bush III himself. But that work is going to continue. And hopefully it's going to open itself up to everybody, not just, you know, all the systems. So with that, I thank you so much, and I look forward to having you supporting me. God bless you.